What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. And we back for some more of that Oddly Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Mikey Garcia versus Earl Spence. Keys to victory, combination punching. You know, I wanted to touch on this fight once again. You know, this is a... Uh, this is a big fight, man, especially for Mikey Garcia, you know, moving up in weight and uh, trying to solidify his name in the sport of boxing. Uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, touch on the point of uh, some of the keys to victory for uh, Mikey Garcia and for Earl Spence. You know, I like Earl Spence, man. He's a humble, you know, uh, he's he's humble and, you know, and quiet, but he's vicious when, 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 when he needs to make a point, man, so... <laughs> I like uh, Earl Spence, man. So, uh, keys to victory. Uh, combination punching. As far as Mikey Garcia goes, man, I feel like uh, since Earl Spence is the naturally bigger guy, you know, he's much bigger naturally than uh, uh, Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia is really going to have to bring the pain in this fight. You know, he's either going to have to uh, land harder punches, uh, faster combinations, or a, be a better ring general than uh, Earl Spence uh, during this fight. And I feel like combination punches could be one of the the, 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 the main factors for uh, Mikey Garcia to win this fight. If he can land multiple combinations every round, if he can land five to six, you know, seven good combinations every round for, the, for at least nine rounds, he can win this fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, he's gonna have to be flawless for those nine rounds, though. It's not gonna—he's he's not gonna be able to take a second off in those rounds because Earl Spence has the power to knock him out uh, with one punch. You know, being a naturally bigger guy, uh, I, I, I really hope that he—he's he, focusing on footwork so he can uh, maneuver around while he's trying to uh, accomplish throwing these combinations. Uh, I hope he's working on his coordination, his balance. You know. Uh, and uh, his accuracy, because those are, those are going to be sad uh, attributes to help him accomplish this goal of, of being the faster combination puncher during this fight. So, you know, all these things could, uh, need to play a factor and a role for Mikey Garcia to win this fight. You know, nobody's really given Mikey Garcia a chance to win this fight at all. They're not, uh, they're not uh, you know, giving him a puncher's chance. They're not giving him a boxer's chance. They're not giving him a, a chance as far as ring generalship, uh, speed. They're just saying Earl Spence about to beat the ish ish out of, <laughs> out of Mikey Garcia. So we'll see. But uh, as far as Earl Spence goes, man, uh, I feel like combination punches could play a role for him too, but more of power combinations uh, to slow Mikey Garcia down and to uh, uh, effectively, you know, neutralize him for the knockout, you know. And I feel like if he if he, if he only needs to land probably three to four combination, power combinations per round to uh, effectively neutralize Mikey Garcia because him being the bigger guy, which is why Mikey Garcia is going to have to use speed and combinations to move around the ring. He's not going to be able to just sit and, and pop shot or pick punches or pick shots or none of that stuff. He's going to have to be constantly moving and constantly utilizing the ring to his advantage. Earl Spence is going to be probably sitting in certain pockets and trying to drop, you know, one, two, three uh, and move around. One, two, three, move around and then gather space, you know, and see how Mikey Garcia handles those punches. Uh, and then I feel like he's going to start, you know, after after one or two rounds of that, he's going to start to open up on him. And Mikey Garcia, if he's sitting around waiting <coughs> for Earl Spence, excuse me, to bring that type of uh, action to him, it's, it's going to be a problem for him. Earl Spence landing two or three of those type of combinations, especially on his body during the first uh, two or three rounds, could really, really be, uh, have a big effect on Mikey Garcia. Uh, and uh, his frame, you know, not being able to handle those type of punches, uh, especially in multiple combinations. Uh, that's and that early in the fight, if he starts to rain down uh, power combinations, um, it's just over. You know what I'm saying? So Mikey Garcia is really gonna have to use his footwork, 
his athleticism, his uh, his his uh, 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 and his speed and his combination punches to really be an effective ring general for this fight, man. It's could it's, it's could turn real ugly real fast for Mike. So, <laughs> We gonna hope he's he's on you know he's on top of everything, man. We don't want this to get ugly for Michael Garcia, and you know like I said, I like Earl Spence. I don't want to see nothing bad happen to Earl Spence, but I, uh, I really would like to see Michael Garcia pull this off, man. Uh, I, I still want to see uh, Earl Spence uh, fight turns Crawford, so I feel like if he takes a loss, that fight takes a hit. So you know I really don't know who I'm going for in this fight, man. I really want to see Michael Garcia do well in this fight, though. Uh, I always check the description box for all your girl, your boxing girl, man. Got some great links down there for you. Uh, always leave a like and subscribe. Tell your mama, tell your dog, your cat, your fishes. We out of here.